Hi, I'm Matthew, and thank you for joining me today on Will It Shave Wednesday, and I just want to say welcome to all the new subscribers and all the returning subscribers and anyone that's viewing this video. Well, if you're new, this is a uh, series that I do on Wednesdays, and it is just things that I'm trying out that's new, or maybe old things that I'm revisiting, and I want to see Will It Shave. So the first thing I'm going to do is wet my face. I feel like it's important to hydrate my face before I get shaven. And today's soap is something that was released this past weekend by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, which is Grove. I was lucky I purchased it last year, so I can do a shave before anyone else. Man, the smell on this, I enjoy it. You know, uh, I don't do too many videos where uh, I'm not enjoying it. Take a look at that. I can pick up scents of cranberry, apricot, and oak wood kind of reminds me it's a it's a sweet i don't know have you guys ever cut down a cherry tree i do sometimes for uh, smoking some of my great ribs or pork butts but anyway it kind of gives you that leafy woody smell it's a sweet it's a, it's a very nice scent but don't take my word for it take my wife's no picture there <laughs> i will put a scent profile there to let you know she did say that she enjoyed the smell of it and so it's a winner i'm going to go ahead and put on a little glycerin soap here a little pre-shave because once i get going i'm not going to stop Wednesday morning, halfway through the work week, and I'm ready for it to be over. <laughs> I do have the soap already lathered up in the Lancaster Razor Works ceramic bowl. And this is the CK6. I'm going to be using the Smog Moore brush here, as previously seen in some of my other videos. And I'm going to tell you that I used a quarter of a teaspoon of shave soap and 13 milliliters of water. I want a little bit more on the wet side for this soap because today's razor is going to be the Mighty Weck, as seen on IMCDB's channel. And he loves this thing. So guess what? I want to give it a spin. Here it is. I can't really uh, show you the logo because it's worn off. Let's see, does it say on here? No, but on the attachment, the, the little comb that goes on there, it said whack. So you just gotta take my word for it. I'm gonna go ahead and warm up the razor. I do have a Annie's blade in there because I don't have any other uh, hair shaper blades, so. Let's see how this goes. Yeah. I have two days worth of growth. The blade is nice and sharp. This is where the hydration comes into play. And just in case this razor didn't work out for me, I had the trusty Game Changer 8.4 open comb on standby. <laughs> Doesn't look like I'm going to be needing that today. Thank you. 
and the razor is doing well. I'm actually not shaving my neck how I typically do. Why? <laughs> why ask why? <clears throat> This razor is pretty nice. One of the things that's kind of encouraging about this razor is if you're wanting to get into straight razor shaving and you're not wanting to invest in strops and hones, this would be the way to go. Because you have a factory edge sharp and ready and you can use it until you feel that it's dull and then you can change it out without any guessing or learning any new techniques i would like to try some other blades just to see how they compare. I may just be doing one pass. This spot here is where I'm always nervous because I know with uh, straight razors and commissories, that's typically where I get issues with the direction of the hair growing. This is where you have to learn how to manipulate different directions. And if you have any little imperfections on your face, like moles or bumps, they're either gonna survive or you're gonna mow them off. And I can tell my lather's starting to get a little dry. Where this little fancy sprayer might come in nice and nice and handy. Have you guys tried the Mighty Weck? Plenty of residual slickness left over, especially when you hide some in your goatee. All right, why not? Let's go for pass two. It's always fun just to sit there and lather. 
just to have it. I better stick to my day job. I'm not singing. Now we're going to go across the green. I usually don't stretch my skin, but I feel like today is the day <laughs> to stretch. And I just felt right there on my hairline I don't think I got it but let me see if I can rinse this off enough to show you the blade on this you can see it it's not super rounded right there the camera is not really picking it up but on a normal straight razor it's got a little bit more of a curve so that's uh rounded off and luckily i didn't get myself but it was close When you get used to using the toe and the heel, sometimes if you come in hot, that's where you're gonna, it's gonna get you. And I'm not much of a talker when I'm around the neck. You guys that straight razor shave, do you rinse your razor or do you wipe it on a sponge or a towel? Comment below and let me know. That's going to be enough for me. <laughs> Off camera, I have a bowl full of cold water. For a cold water rinse. And let me just check and see how I did. Ooh, that's nice and smooth. Maybe a little spot there I could get, but I'm not chasing it. Nice. You know what else is nice? A little bit of ice. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and since I'm doing a little fall theme, I'm going to use the orange by Cheap Town by Lancaster. 
Oh, that's nice. We got the matching aftershave splash. And this does not have the restrictor. So, I'm just going to give a little bit there. Because that does come out a lot quicker than the new bottles. And to follow that up, yeah, I better not use the frostbite. We'll just go with the star jelly. So how's your work week or COVID week going? Has things changed much for you guys? Wow, that is. There's something about a straight razor shave just so smooth and enjoyable and when you make it through a shave without any nicks cuts gushers scrapes you know you did a pretty good job so there we go the mighty weck it did a good job the blade did well i need to venture out and try some other blades because there may be a smoother blade out there but that did pretty nice and uh the soap, CK6 version, or the formula, performed flawlessly. The scent was excellent. I better put my cap on before I knock it over. You guys want to see a little lather porn? Okay, I'm showing you. Here's what I got. There's quite a bit left in that bowl. Let's see if I can... I can't really dig too much more out of there. But my brush is pretty heavily soaked. It's nice. Well, if you guys ordered Grove, let me know how it turns out for you. Did you like the fall scent? Did you get it last year? I enjoy that scent. And uh, I kind of forgot about it stashed away there in my cabinet full of soaps and uh i hate to say i haven't counted them exactly how many soaps i have but uh it's kind of fun to to get new scents and i know you can get you know soaps that are unscented and use them with with any splash and sometimes that's what you have to do but i just like getting a, a different shave every week it's it's enjoyable that's why it's a hobby or addiction for some people but anyway i'm going to put a picture right here of everything that i used today and i look forward to seeing you guys on sunday for another exciting shave you guys have a great weekend we'll see you we'll see ya look at that oh yeah Perfect. Are you still hanging around? I'm just enjoying my my excellent shave.